Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Jelly is Sticky, where last time I discovered all the puzzles that were hiding, quote unquote, in front of my face. And so let's do some of them. This looks pretty straightforward. It seems like I probably need to go through here first so that I can pull this over and pull this over and pull this over and get back in the center. And the same thing over here given that there are two toward the center and one on the way back that I need to do. Kind of need to do things in that order. Deform. This looks interesting. How, I suppose, hmm. If I do something like that, it's not particularly interesting. Aha, but there's some deformation. And now if I were to do this, that would get one half correctly, and then I could do this, and then get the other half. Okay. So yeah, these were early puzzles with only strawberry jelly. So I should expect that they should be simple, right? Right. So it looks like all I need to do here... Uh, hmm. All I need to do, he says... I mean, I can break apart and do this, and then I guess I would like to... Hmm. I think I'd like to be on the other side, actually. I can't do that from here, though. This is what I had. I can't get to the left of it there. Why did I want to be left of it? I want to be above it here. So in order to be above it, I would need to be to the side of it. In order to get above it now... That doesn't help. Okay, now I'm above it, but I'm above it in the wrong spot. Can I do anything useful with this? I can now get to this side of it which I think is not interesting. Okay, I probably did a bunch of editing on this one because I just made a horrible mess of it and it's actually, it's not that bad. So once I get down in here, my goal is to have eyes on the bottom and I can do that by switching this way and then this way. And then here I want eyes on the right, which I can do here and with eyes on the right, I can break this down here so that the eyes are on top, and then I can shear this off over here. Okay, that was kind of a mess, and I guess the key observation is there's three corners on this and only two corners on each of the others. So you had to go all the way over here to kind of like change your parity and then go all the way back in order to get to where you want it to go. But I spent too much time futzing around and not kind of reasoning through that one. Okay. But with that done, is that all of them in this section now? So if I go back, it says 12 of 14 solved. So there's still unsolved stuff in here. Oh yeah, look at that, at the bottom left, okay. There's a yellow one that's un unpowered up. And there's also one in here. How do I get in into there? It seems like this is another case. Oh, can I change my... Mm, if I were another color, maybe I would have to be another color coming into here in order to get those two. And those are the only other two, right? Because there's nothing else up there. And I think all the puzzles over here have been solved. Let's just back out again real quick. Yeah, there's nothing else in the bottom right. And that's the only way into that bottom left section, right? Yes, is to come through there. And so just to make sure I'm not doing something extremely foolish, once I'm here, that's the only way I can shear off that way, and there's no shearing here. So I would either need to, like, bring another block and have another color, or, or something. So I think those two puzzles are currently unsolvable. Hmm. Kind of worried about that logic, though. That's the same kind of thing that bit me before, because I managed to in the previous episode, solve this one and get this block. Can I bring... 
I can't bring this block out. This block is only useful for getting into there, and we did manage to solve that puzzle. All right, I have a feeling I'm still missing something over there, but let's let's ignore that for the moment. And then let's instead take a look at this, where it says 14 of 16 solved. Right. Okay, so I was thinking about this one off camera. It occurred to me that if I had a piece of coconut to push to the right, I could push this. this blah, I could push this to the right and not bring it back to the left. And so, for example, this piece of coconut can be shoved in here and do that. And so that's like some type of progress in theory, but it's not enough to get over to this section. So what else could there be? This also, does it let me do anything else? Like, I mean, I could join in here. Oh, and then break this apart. I did not foresee that at all. There we go. Okay. Well, that's the reason that that one was causing me so many issues. Let's try to solve the last two puzzles here. Tetrominoes. All right. We are playing Tetris. Okay. Um, these S and Z pieces will be among the most difficult to, well, a lot of these will be difficult to fit, it feels like. So it feels to me like, let's just start at the bottom. I'm gonna need this L, and then the Z is gonna need to tuck into it, I think. And let's see, I'm not at too much risk of uh, accidentally making these immobile by pushing them all the way against the wall, but I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of extra space here. So I'm imagining those two being on the bottom and then probably the Tetris piece and the box would go in the middle, and then other things on top, and then me on the very top. And is there still enough room for the Tetris piece? The uh, I bar, long bar, whatever. To get around all of this? Yeah. Don't accidentally push it too far. That looks good. Okay, so not a whole lot to this one, as far as I can tell. Great. And over here we have pancake die. I need to break apart the grape jelly such that it can be packed over to the right to meet the shape so that I'll be able to move to the right. Okay. So. So. This can definitely pack a whole bunch in. One of these can go over here, because I'm just looking at the shape of the coconut that's over here, and so it's going to have a two thing that juts out, and then... Oh, no, actually, it's going to have to... This is as far as it would be able to go, and so actually something more like that. And then coconut would go all the way to here, and then start zigzagging out, and so... There'd be another one here... And here, and there, so where is the rest of this going to go? I currently have six, seven unplaced blue grape jellies, whatevers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I guess the whole thing needs to be one shifted to the right, and so if I put one more of these in each of these whatchadoodles... I don't know that I'm describing what I'm doing very well. I apologize. Uh, also, one of these needs to move, because that's just going to come over to the right with that. So let's move that one there. I think like that. Yes, great. Okay, I made the shape I needed on the right and that allows me to get there. Okay. Um, so now I solved all of those. 
And yeah, I didn't need all of those pieces in order to get through here. So now I can just back out and this will light up this one. And so now with a piece of coconut, I should be able to... Something? I can shear myself and shear myself. And that's how I managed to get into here now. Alphabet soup. A, B, C, D, E, F. And okay, this is interesting. There are three in a row here. That's going to be one of the more problematic bits as far as I can see. I'm just going to try to work on some intuition. So if I put the B here, oops, I overshot. Then there's still room here to put something. Oh, but what about up here? Is there anything that has the upper right but not the lower right? No. So is there anything that doesn't have the upper left? No. So... Hmm. Could B go here instead? And then F down here? That's looking more plausible to me at a glance. So could I cover the rest in those four? Uh, does D... No. A, no. B, no. Uh, nothing works. And therefore, the puzzle's impossible. Let's see. Yeah, this looks quite difficult. Is there a way to do something non-obvious? Oops, let's undo that. So yeah, covering this with coconut. I mean, I guess I could use the D here, but then I'm not going to be able to cover the others. And also, it still doesn't cover this one. Hmm. And like, this can only move down one more. Which would not cover these. It feels like I need something that has a 5x3 rectangular outline to cover this area. But if I do that, the only possible things that could cover this area seem like things that have their bottom right with a little cutout, like this D. But the B and the D both have such a cutout. I could put the F there. That's what it is. There. Then... C could go here. B could still go where I had it originally up against the F and now is against the C. D is missing its upper right, which means it would be capable of slotting in down here, except for then it's going to leave a empty spot on the coconut, a couple of them. And it's not going to get this one. So this one that I'm standing on is currently a coconut problem. And if I put B or D there, it seems like it's going to create a similar, similar coconut problem over there. So we still, we got issues. And I don't know how to solve the issues. The E could totally go here, and the A could totally go here. So if this were E and A... Oh, and also I forgot about the fact that I need to be standing... Oops. I need to be standing here at the end. Oh! <laughs> I was just doing that for demonstration purposes. It didn't occur to me to not align the D on the grid with the rest of the things. And that happens to solve the puzzle after I'd line them all up. Okay, well, that's part of the utility of trying to illustrate uh, a partial thought process. It's sometimes you accidentally solve the puzzle. Hooray! I am a genius. Three of three solved. Great. Thirteen of sixteen solved. So what are the remaining three that are unsolved in this section? I see them on the outsides. And in order to get there, right, I had to drag that thing to the south somehow. And I have oranges available, which are sticky. Uh, right, but I would have to push one of these oranges out. There we go. So, I'm strawberry jam, and so it, orange doesn't stick to me. But I can push it. And I can get it to stick to something else. And so, for example... 
if I were to stick it here, I move that part way down and then I still need to move it two more down and now it's in the way. So that seems wrong. So how else could I have done this? I could have gotten more of them and made a longer handle coming from over here. That seems correct. How many more of them do I need in order to make that happen? Okay, so here is what I'm imagining. If I use this to pull it down somewhat, and that, oh, I, hmm. That's not what I want to do. How would I, okay, maybe I only pull it down to there and then start shearing some of this off and somehow do something different, question mark? Well, I guess I can pull it down again if I just slot this in over here. I can do that. So I've moved it down more. And actually, if I could get it down even one more, then I'd be in really good shape. And this actually will do it, won't it? Because I could do that. And then I can pull it all the way down. That's all I needed to do. Okay, great. I have made my way over to the section. Unbottle. All right. I just need to get this out. The orange will not stick to me, so I need to use coconut to do it. So, where can I push this thing to, I can do something like this? Yeah, okay. So there is the orange piece out, and then that enables me to open up the bottle. And then that enables me to get at my strawberries. Okay. All right, at least some things are going my way. Unbottle again. This time there is no orange to work with. The name of the puzzle is Unbottle, but it's trying to trick me. I don't need to unbottle. I can just do that. Haha, -ha. nice try, video game. And over here, slide lock. I need to push that to the right various numbers of times or something. Okay. Uh, in specific, I need to push it four to the right. So I need to, let's just do the naive thing at the beginning, I think. Actually, I'm not even sure what the naive thing would be. I guess if I do this, can I unstick the orange now somehow? I can't pull on it that way, but I could pull on it this way. And then repeat the process. Uh, no. Um, can I shear this orange again? Like, the problem is, if I stick it on here now, like, now I can't push it to the right. Yes, I can. Aha! Okay, once again, always useful to demonstrate your thought process because you may see something you didn't originally see when you were about to demonstrate it. Okay. So, oops. Unstick it by doing that. Pull it back over here. There we go. Okay. So, that solves that area. And so now if I back out, this will light up the star. And with this guy, now I can push that out of the way and be able to reach this puzzle. Walk the dog. The dog, of course, being a piece of grape jelly. Because when one says walk the dog, what else could one possibly even think of? Okay. Hello, dog. I have come to walk you. Uh, that's apparently as far as I'm walking you. <laughs> hmm. Could also, like, break you off and try to pick you up in the bottom section. That seems good. And break you off there. Uh. Can I get at you a different way? Can I ever break off the orange slices that are attached to me? Don't know that I can. And I'm 
not sure what else I would do with this piece of grape jelly. I guess I could attach you to this side, like this, and then be able to walk you out here. Okay. Hey, look, I'm walking the dog. Then I can attach you to the left side. Then I can be unhappy about my situation. Uh, if you're on the right-hand side, can I do something more interesting? Yes, because I can get away from you and then attach you on the right-hand side over here. And then shear you off. And now I'd like you below me on the right, like that. And then... I guess probably shear you off again? Let's see, how am I... How are you eventually getting through this last bit? I can't fit through here, obviously. So I need you attached to my left hand side. So let's see if I can get like how left how left can you get? I suppose if you did this then I could push you like that and do this. And now you're on the left hand side, but not in necessarily the best way. Hmm. So I'm going to need to go here. Where is it? Like, where is it during all of this? It has to be to the left of me here, it feels like. How could it ever be to the left of me here when I'm going to be making this move? That seems impossible. Because it is impossible, I am trying to do the wrong thing. The correct thing to try to do... Actually, if I undo a bit, it'll be easier, I think. The correct thing to try to do, I think, is to push it up through this little corner thing that I can't fit through, but it could. Ah, uh, but how would I scrape it off over here? I would need it... I would want to be unstuck from it now and then push it up with the coconut bit. But then I'd never be able to push it to the left with the coconut. No, I could push it to the left with the coconut bit. And then I could go around the other side and pick it up with the orange. So... Okay, I think I see it. If I scrape it off here, then I can push left with the coconut bit. Now it's left there. Now I can walk around here, pick it up with the orange bit, and... I want it in this column, but... Yeah, so I'm going to be pressing it down, because I can't have it stuck to me anywhere. So I need it unstuck, but also hovering in the middle. How would that ever happen? Like, suppose... Hmm. Suppose... Aha! I push it into the column. There we go, except for I push it too high. Don't push it that high. Just push it that high. Oops! Then don't touch it. Push it with the coconut bit. Now it's in the correct column, and then push it down. Hey, okay. <laughs> I did the thing. Or I did a thing. Okay, the fact that I was able to solve stars 2, 3, and 4 really makes me think that there's something with star 1 that I failed to see. So I'm going to take one more look again on my own in case I'm being a complete dummy. Well, I spent a few more minutes on that puzzle and did not figure it out. However, over in this section, in Chapter 5, there was this, and I need to get to the right, and that coconut is kind of blocking things. However, if I undo those moves, what if I stick a piece of coconut in here, and then push this down? Then the coconuts can't move, and the orange has fallen in, and now I am able to access these puzzles. So let's do it. Plasma Cutter. I see, there is a bit of lava inside the coconut, and I am trying to get, okay, the strawberry down there. And I guess I can do some things. <laughs> this is scary. Uh, how am I going to push the strawberry downwards? That's what I'm unclear about. Oh, nope, there goes the strawberry. Let's try resetting. Alright, if strawberry wants to go downwards... 
Could I do something like that and then push the strawberry downwards? Yes. So that's kind of most of it-ish. Okay. So it's possible to push the strawberry there. I get it. And so if I were to do this... Yeah, then I can't push the strawberry far enough to the left. Okay. So that felt kind of good at the start. What if I do... That... Oh, there's a single piece of coconut inside me now. That's an interesting configuration, maybe. Because that coconut can stay there and get pushed around and maybe interesting things happen? Yes, I think so. Uh, oh. Uh, maybe not quite that, though? <laughs> so this would bring the coconut up, but it's also gonna kill the strawberry, and I guess hmm, that would kill the coconut. Yeah, okay. So let's reset. I feel like that's probably a good start, and that was kind of interesting too, but what could I do from here that would be different? I guess right now it's hard to separate the strawberry block from the coconut block, which is kind of what I'm itching to do, and I can't I can't push the strawberry down more, is the issue. So... Suppose I did something more like this at the start? Well, now the strawberry is not where it needs to be. Yeah, it's in a precarious spot. I can't push it any more to the left without doing something like that, and then I won't be able to push it down enough. Hmm. This does not seem like... Like, the set of moves I can make is pretty finite. And yet, here we are. Suppose I did something like this. I can push the strawberry down. I can use that to push it down a little bit more. I can push it over. So this is as close as I have gotten, but I don't have a way to push it down anymore. Could I have pushed it down anymore? No. Okay, but in that case, I made like a little carving place for the strawberry. So... What if I did this? Because I can still push it left, and I can still push it down, uh, but I can't push it down enough. Was there a place that I could have pushed it down more there? Did I move it up at some point? I did. Moving it up is not good, so I would prefer to move it down. But then I'm losing my kind of pushability any further down. So, okay. So there's a 3x3 three three inside the outer ring of coconut. The upper left is already gone. The middle right is already gone and has a strawberry in it. And I have to come up with the right little jigsaw cut piece. That one seems pretty interesting. But then I also have to be able to, like, navigate the strawberry around inside said jigsaw. Okay, this is looking good. Because now I'm able to move it, and I haven't gotten... There we go. Haven't gotten rid of... Oh, no, that still doesn't go down far enough. Hold on. Uh, when did I move the strawberry up or down? I moved it up once. No, I just moved it down. But it still needs to go down again. And I don't have the pushability for it. Okay. So where would that pushability come from? Well, that's again, it would come from right there. So two below my eyeballs could push the strawberry way far down. So that kind of implies, once again, that this is a good starting point. So the strawberry has been pushed down some. Great. But now the problem is I need to get the strawberry to the left and not lose my 
pushability thing, and I just pushed it back up. Oh, but that worked. Kind of. Maybe. Yes. Uh, now the coconut has become its own separate piece. Which is not helping me in the slightest. You're not helping, coconut. Hmm. Is there any way that this could possibly be good? I don't think so. I'm pushing the strawberry up rather than down. I mean, yeah, this is just impossible. Let's look at things from a different point of view. My eyeballs will presumably be in this position when the puzzle is solved. Either the strawberry just moved from top to bottom, or it moved from left to right. If the st strawberry just moved from top to bottom, that implies that one south of my eyeballs and two south of my eyeballs are both still intact, which I've been struggling with. So maybe the strawberry is coming from right to left. So let's just focus on getting the strawberry as downward as possible, as fast as possible. So can I get the strawberry down again, even if it costs me everything else in the world? That's what I'm curious about. Uh, I don't like that start already. <laughs> Okay, strawberry's pretty far down. Is there anything interesting I can do from this position? I don't think so. Eh, this might be more interesting than I originally gave it credit for. It's still not interesting enough. Yeah, and I managed to get the strawberry kind of coming from the right. It's still it's still the downward. Okay, I went off camera for a moment, and I think I solved it. And I think it's another case of you have to use all of your brain power. So the key move I think that I was not seeing is, after doing that, to do this. Uh, why is that the key move? Actually, maybe even to do this, because then I can push it to the left, push it back to the right, and now push the strawberry all the way down as far south as it needs to go. And that was what I wasn't able to do before. And so, now it doesn't matter what happens to the red. Oh no, I'm still not there. I thought I was there. Hold on. <laughs> I still need to get it pushed to the left. Two more squares. And I can't do that now. Hmm... Okay, well, I've made a new type of progress in terms of downward pushing at this, but still have not solved the leftward problem at the same time, concurrently. Is there any way that I can, like, shuffle these around inside here? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. So again... This is what gives me sufficient downward mobility, because I can go down, down, up, up. The strawberry has been pushed against the wall, which lets me move it to the right one, which then lets me punch it down. But now the problem is the bottom right is not there, and so I can't go two more to the left. And so what I would like to do, actually, what if while it was here, now, while it's here, that's what we did before. And if I move the strawberry that way, the coconut's just sitting in the center and still nothing happens. Oh my goodness, this is a hard puzzle. Okay, after more off-camera attempts, I think I finally have something. If I carve out like a backward C on the left-hand side, then I can very carefully move the strawberry around with inside of it. So what was it I was doing? I need to preserve that. So I want to move the strawberry down. And then I think I'm willing to sacrifice the top right to get the strawberry over a little bit. 
And then the strawberry is just above where it needs to be. And now I can get it in here in that bottom left corner, which was the important part of the C. And so it wasn't two south of the eyeballs, but two south and one west of the eyeballs that is going to do the final downward push in order to solve the puzzle. Oh my goodness. That one gave me so much trouble. All right, it's going to turn out long, but let's go ahead and try to finish this thing off. Silkrow. I just need to get the two puzzle pieces around without having them go in the lava. And they can't become completely detangled from one another, and so it's probably uh, some manner of <laughs> pushing them around from the outside and having the lava move through the hole in the middle. Something along these lines. So the lava is kind of like navigating its way through the hole in the middle or something. And yeah, I guess I actually, I can put this down and then I can push the whole thing to the right some, and then I can push this over to the right more which enables me to pick this up and then oh and then what and then this goes up which means now I can push that back to the left actually the whole needs to go like this and so I need to push the whole thing this way and then the whole thing this way and then start untangling it so that there's a hole south of the lava like that and then push the whole thing upwards and then the whole thing right a few and then just this one right open up a hole over there and then this one down and now all of it is to the right hand side of the lava and so now i just need to get it into its final resting position which is somewhere over here there we go okay that one was not bad at all <laughs> That was a nice change of pace after the previous one. Let's see if we can finish this off. Recover. So, I just need to move a piece. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to break myself into multiple pieces, I believe, because I can't get around the coke or I can't get around the jelly like it is. And so, I need to be able to slice and recover. Ooh. If I slice, All right, um, let's just try something. Do I have enough pieces to recover with over there? No, clearly not. Like cutting out middle pieces is okay, but cutting out those edge pieces, I would need to slice myself hmm, such that Oh, uh, yeah, okay. For example, uh, this is actually not the best example. Let's do it like this instead. So here, I can't quite slice that into what I need, but what I'm observing is imagine that I could control the other piece. Like I could slice it into a two by two and a two by two by cutting out the middle two by two and get four of those six pieces reused kind of thing and since some of them came from the middle right okay so basically i can afford to give away pieces out of my middle and so there's a bunch of pieces out of my middle gone i need seven of them there's nine there so i could only cut two of them yeah that's still not gonna work I guess another possible way to chop bits out of my middle is kind of something ridiculous like this. That's actually pretty good. Um, yeah, that's interesting because I can put myself back together and I have a little grabber hole that I could use to try to do something clever with Batty McBatterton over here. Actually, could I use this somehow? Hmm.
if that hole had been over there, could I have grabbed? I might have been able to. Okay, let's try doing a similar thing, but with the hole here. So suppose I do this. So, there's all my pieces. Uh, but I'm going to need to worry about the coconut like separately. So I'm going to drop the coconut off over here, and we'll come back and get it later. And then I'm going to try to grab the grape and get it where it's going. Okay, grape is where it's going. Great. And then I'm going to grab... Oh! Can I not grab this? No, I can grab this. I mess up the grape, though. Yeah, I mess up the grape pretty severely. So is there another way I could have done this that was almost like that? So the problem at the end was getting my coconut back. And where was the coconut left in the first place? I'd left it here. Could I have left it elsewhere? Uh, there isn't a lot of room to move around to leave it elsewhere. But nevertheless... Could I have... Uh, well, I can't do it now. Could I have... No, I... Mm. Could I have ever pressed it north using the grape or something? I don't see a way to do that either. What if I left the coconut inside me while I'm doing this and going and grabbing the grape? That seems plausible, actually. So leave the coconut inside me, drop off the grape, and now I can just move the coconut back to where it needs to be, except for I need to do that at the last moment. I need to do it here. There we go. Got it. Okay. Great. And that is that whole section solved, which has lit up. Uh, just another piece of that. So that was like just another puzzle piece as far as I can tell. Okay, that's good progress. <laughs> I'm going to say I hope as always that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Jelly is Sticky. For now, bye-bye.